so I got an interesting piece of advice from my advisor's advisor, Lati Lovas, who is someone I very much admire. In the early years of my life, I was giving a talk in some conference in, in Bonn. I was a graduate student this is two years before my PhD. I had a result I was really, really proud of. And indeed was a very difficult result. And Lotzi very gently asked me on the corridor after that, what exactly is the application that, or what exactly is the reason you're interested in this serum? And that made me start thinking of how, the, how, how one chooses problems in a way that stayed with me. Um, as an early graduate student, and in particular in that particular uh, paper I did, someone suggested an open question. It seemed like an open question I would know how to solve, and I solved it. The solution was tricky and challenging, and it was published in GCT, which is the, le the leading journal of combinatorics. But Lazzi had a really good point. It was not clear why we were interested in this question, and in fact, I shouldn't have been interested in this question. And it made me think for the first time on thinking of how you choose the questions that, that you, uh, you choose to work on and how you spend your time on our discussions of you have to choose questions where you're, you have something to offer, where your toolkit and abilities have something to offer, and that will be appreciated and rewarded. And these were true for this, 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 this particular research area. I was missing the most ingredient item. It wasn't important for the future. It wasn't a really good question. And as a young graduate student, I wasn't thinking about this, but it taught me to think about it. Lots of it in a really gentle and friendly kind of way. Um, and I think that stayed with me. It's an important advice. <laughs>